Now it's time to write a little code. There's a lot of helpers inside of NetBeans to help you write code. So for instance, let's start with a simple hello world. So I can be very lazy inside of my code, type the letter S and hit control space, and it's going to show me a bunch of options. Now what did I just do? I hit control and held that down and hit the space bar. And that's what's called code complete. Code complete is going to show you all sorts of cool things you can write inside of code. This is everything that it knows about that starts with the letter S. I want to go print something out to the world, and so I can pick right here system.out.println and say hello, and I'm off and running. So I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven keystrokes, and I have that whole line of code done inside of there. The only thing I had to type was hello, five characters inside of there, outside of S, space, and then hello. This is ready to go. I can run this code. I hit the run button up top. You see this little button I hit up here, run? It ran the code, and everything ran pro properly. So the idea of code complete is to use context clues inside the tool to be able to spell it out. So let's say I knew system out there and hit control space after that. It's going to pop up several options, and sometimes it'll pop it up automatically for you. System is the name of a class. The dot is how do I access something in that class. And so here's things I can access. The error log, the input log, the output log. And so from here, if I hit control space again, nothing happens. It's completed. There's nothing else it can help me with. But if I hit dot again, I didn't even hit control space this time. It popped up and said, look at all these things I can do for you. So I can say print line inside of there, and it shows me all the different ways I can print something. So I can print an object, I can print a string, I can print a boolean, I can print a character, and so on and so forth. If I want to know what it looks like to print a float, I click on that one, and it updates the Java doc up here. Java doc is a way of capturing information about Java methods. It's done normally in HTML, but because NetBeans has used code complete and integrated with it, it'll tell you exactly what the description of it is and what other parameters do and everything like that from the Java doc in line in your code. Save me from having to go to another page to find out about this. So I can do print line. <laughs> I, it's picked the X from that variable before, but instead I'm going to do a another item NetBeans. I'm hitting Control S to save that. If you want to, you can come up here and hit the Save button. I use shortcuts all the time. Control S saves it, and every time I save it, it automatically compiles my code. So I want to run again. Last time I came up here and pressed this button to run. Notice when I say Run Project, it tells me which project it's going to run. Welcome to NetBeans. And then it also gives me the option to hit the F6 key, which I'm going to do this time. F6, and it just ran the code. Hello and NetBeans. So there's many different ways to run the code. I can hit the button, I can do F6, I can right click, I can go to the run menu. All four options are available for me to run it. Now, code complete isn't quite done there. As you said, it will allow you to do many, many cool things. I can hit a variable here. Um, a, B, C, D, E, F, G. There's a variable I created right there to be able to help me do the work. Now. When I want to go through and print this, I can hit Control Space, and it will actually give me the options for what variables it's created out there for me, or I've created before, or anything that's out there. So you can see, I can use alpha or args inside of there. I hit Control A, I hit A at that point. If I hit Control Space here, it'll show me absolutely everything out there that I could go off and access. And there's a number of things I could do. Now, it doesn't always give me things that's going to easily lead me into proper code. If I put Boolean inside of there, this is not compiled code. It does not work. We'll deal with compiler errors here in a little bit. But it will give me some suggestions. And so I can do something, control space, and it completes typing alpha for me. So I don't have to worry about whether my variable name is one or two characters, or 13 or 15 characters. By using code complete, all I have to do is type the first few characters, select the proper value, hit enter, and it types the whole thing for me. So if this was alphabet starting characters, oops, I hit control space right there. I can have a really long name right there, and I can hit control space here, and it types all that for me, saving me a little bit of running, uh, typing time.
So I'm going to run this, go to the Run menu, hit Run, and again, it ran it all for me. So there's a little bit of a key into using Code Complete to help you get some clever coding started and be able to save yourself some typing and give yourself some context awareness of where to put things in.